mi marido está diciendo que estoy perdiendo mi español. Vamos a ver. Hola a todo el mundo. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Soy Wenza y hoy estáis viendo Wenza 101. So it is true that I have not been practicing Spanish. The goals that I have set for 2021, I did not reach not a single one of them. Not a single one. Are you not ashamed of yourself? However, we are in the middle, six month mark now of 2022 and I'm getting my act together, okay? I really want to get back into my language learning content into my language learning groove and so today we're going to test it out by taking a Spanish proficiency test and really see how much Spanish I've lost I still think I'm good no creo que he perdido mucho de mi español solo no estoy practicando como debería pero vamos a ver All right. so have it right here I'm actually gonna just pull it up on the screen right now so Spanish proficiency test there are four components to this test you have grammar one 15 questions grammar two 15 questions vocabulary is about 10 questions and then reading comprehension so number one ¿Qué blank ustedes? I would say hacen. Number two, Rosa y Miguel van al cine. Number three, yo. Easy peasy, come on. Yo soy el hermano de Pepe. Hace un año que trabajo en esta fábrica. Tomás dijo que mm, al correo, pero no tiene tiempo que va al correo. Thomas said that he's gonna go to the mailbox, but he didn't have time. To the mail, but he didn't have time. Va y va. I think it's va. Let's keep going. Donde vivían los aztecas a Blink. Vacío Cortes. Ven las niñas están jugando en la calle. They. It's a lot more tougher than I thought, you know? El otro día yo, Tomás, ayer hacía buen tiempo. I know that one. Eleven. Era probable que él lo... It's possible that he has it. Lo tenga. Okay. Todas mis amigas, la fiesta por Marcos. Han sido invitadas. Han sido invitadas. All my friends were invited to the party of Marcos. Todas mis amigas son invitadas a la... Oh, I don't know. Let's go with that one. Rosa, me viste ayer. Visito, visité, visito. I think it's this one. Rosa visited me yesterday. Pepe toca la guitarra. Y... Levántase, 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 I think it's this one, next section, 
grammar number two so select the underlined word that is incorrect so ella should not be there it should be ayer yo escribí una carta ella should be eliminated el campesino venden frutas it's vende un negocio poco a poco los estudiantes van aprendiendo ellos fueron al teatro los sábados that's past tense if we're talking about something that happens constantly that word is incorrect okay we are currently in the vocabulary section number one los Enfermeros, ayudan a los médicos. Enfermeros is nurse, so I would assume. Es una broma, yo te estoy tomando el pelo. I think that's what that means. It's just a joke. I'm just pulling your hair. Um, yo voy a la playa porque... Mm, tengo calor. Hago calor, estoy calor, soy calor, tengo calor. We talked about that before. ¿A qué hora llega el avión en Miami? Este apego es muy chico. No te queda bien. Rafa tiene que estudiar esta noche. Hace mal tiempo hoy. Está lloviendo a... Uh, this is... I'm just gonna say cats and dogs because I don't know if that's a saying that they don't say in Spanish. Ellos tocan la guitarra. Yo no entiendo. I don't understand why you say this. It's a lie. Why? Because. So yes, ¿por qué? No entiendo la tarea, así que le una pregunta le hago. I'm gonna make a question for the professor. Next section, last section, ten reading comprehensive questions. ¿Dónde está señora mía que no te duele mi mal? Oh, no lo sabe señora o oh, eres Okay, so let's get the score. I don't think it's going to be that good. I'm a language beginner. I scored a 46, answering 28 out of 50 questions correctly. I guess I am perdiendo mi español. So what do I need to do to get this fixed? I'm going to go back to my goals that I had set for the year of 2021. I'm going to finish my Duolingo tree. There's this new update on Duolingo. You can now reach a legendary level, which actually turns the unit a purple color like this. So I want to be able to get unit one and unit two completely filled out and mastered like these. So that's my goal and I want to get that completed by December before 2023. Also, Rosetta Stone, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it this year, but I'm gonna try my best to get as far as I can within Rosetta Stone and then memorize. I'm on Spanish Spain 6, I just have Spanish Spain 7 to complete and then I'll be done with memorize with Spanish. I'll go back and review some words and vocabulary and stuff. So that is my goal. And I still do want to read a book in Spanish. I have yet to do that. Guys, it's too much. But instead of finding a really difficult book for me, I'm going to actually try something more intermediate. That way, me jumping into reading in Spanish won't be as intimidating as it was for me before. So that's my goal for the remainder of the year. 
uh, am I losing my Spanish? Yes, yes I am. When I'm speaking to my in-laws, I can hear it, I can feel it. I'm losing vocabulary, I'm losing grammar, and it's all my fault, to be honest. I just need to keep practicing like I was before and not slack. So here I am, back at it. So I wanna be able to motivate you guys and also you guys encourage me and motivate me and push me to keep going and keep learning and go on with this because learning a language is not easy it takes a lot of effort a lot of time and it takes a lot of motivation so let's motivate each other let's do this we got this i have six more months and i just really want to focus in on my spanish i'm also going to dabble in and out of the other languages that i'm learning as well but i just really feel like my spanish is slipping away from me and to keep myself accountable i'm going to try to make an update video at least once a month on here so let's just keep each other accountable subscribe to the channel if you want to see more updates and like this video if you like it and i'll see you next time bye